Hey guys, so today we are looking at experience and specifically how to get it. So if we jump right in, the first and most common way of gaining experience is by attacking aggressive mobs. And it works with any mob at all in the game. And it's probably the best way of gaining experience since you get the most. Another way is through passive mobs. You can kill passive mobs as well. Comes to the same effect. Come here, piggy. And you get experience. So, it doesn't give you as much experience, I don't believe, as killing an aggressive mob. So, given the choice, unless you're really unprepared for a, aggressive mobs, you should go with them. The next thing you can do now with any passive mob is breed them. So, that will gain your experience. So for sheep, cows, mushrooms, it's all wheat. For pigs, it's carrots. Chickens, it is seeds. Wolves, I believe it's any meat. And ocelots, it's raw fish. So, if we just take a look at Oh, why don't we do the, yeah, the chickens. Let's do the chickens. So we got our seeds. You right-click on one, on both of them, and that puts them into a love state. And then it pops out a little chicken, and you get just a little experience. Now, the good thing about breeding and getting experience is it doesn't get you much just from breeding. But then, now that you have this baby, you once it grows up, you can then kill it, and you get more experience from killing it as well. So, there's once you breed something, you get experience from breeding it, and then you can get experience from killing it later. So, that is good things you can do with passive and aggressive mobs for experience. The next thing is, if we head over to my favorite fishing spot, is fishing, obviously. This can gain you experience if you catch a fish. You'll get a little bit of experience. But the problem with that is, is it takes a long time to catch a fish sometimes, and you don't get as much experience as from other things like killing aggressive mobs again. So, next thing I can show you is mining. Mining will get you experience. Even coal has a chance of getting experience. If we just change the game mode here, then I can show you. Coal has a chance of of getting experience, uh, but it doesn't always. Iron, you can get experience from, I believe. Lapis lazuli, I know you can. Redstone, I know you can. Diamonds, I think so. Not quite sure. And emeralds. They all get you experience in one way or another, directly or indirectly. Um, next way you can do is by cooking things. If you look at the experience bar down below, or just not one notch above 11, take this out, and we gain some experience. That's a lot of experience we just gained there. Just from cooking this gold. So anything you cook can get you experience. But the higher level things that you cook get you more experience. So steak, watch our experience bar. We got a little bit. Um, we can do anything. So diamonds, is they're probably the highest thing in the game. Just cooking one, it'll get you a fair amount. And we can throw in something else in there, but I'm not going to. So... Those are some of the best ways to get experience. Some of them are better than others. You can definitely make some experience farms. I'm not going to go into all those. But you can make them with mobs by having them make some place where it's dark and spawn. And then you can have them drop and then like take some damage. And then when they're almost dead, you can just kill them real easy. That's one easy way to do that. I'm not going to go into those because it takes a long time to build them sometimes and you have to light up all the caves. So we're going to stay away from that. But those are simple ways to gain experience, especially 
if you have a lot of materials, uh, you can definitely cook them. Try and cook the steak all at once, and then you can get all the experience. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.